Welcome to another unit of this Excel course. In this unit, I'm going to talk about how to actually generate frequency tables and how we, if we only have the data set, can also find the most frequent of the values. Okay, if we first want to get a frequency table, we usually have to prepare in a way like this, meaning we have to make a list of all the different possible outcomes that should be counted. So here, imagine this being marks of an exam and they go from one over 1 1.3, 1 1.7, 2, 2.3, 2.7, 3, 3.3, 3.7, 4 and 5. Then we want to have the frequencies next to them. So here basically this means evaluate column B count how often these values are present in column B. Well, we actually have two possibilities to do this. For this, we could use the count function we've seen earlier. So we could go count and then simply say count. Yeah, what? Well, only here, this value. So count itself not really so much works. We could, however, go with count if. In this range, the criteria is should be equal to what is here. So here he counts, he finds there's one, 1.0. Then if I fill this in, I get the results for all of the different parts here. However, this is a bit of a strange way if I do this for everyone. However, this makes sense if I want to also change them separately. Well, if I'm not so much into this and I want to have like one common formula to use for all of them, I could use the frequency formula. Whereas the frequency formula in Excel works similarly to what we know about working with matrices because frequency again is a matrix formula. Well, what does this mean? This means that the output we will get will be a matrix, will be a vector. So we need later on to extend this to more than one field. Okay, but first let's have a look. We have here first the data array. Let's see here where actually the things we need to count are given. Then we have the bins array. That's where we find what is to be counted. We just close this. We will just do this for the 1.0. Then again for matrix formulas, I select where it should be applied to. Go back here, hold down shift and command, press enter. And he actually does the same thing as here on the right, but with one single formula for all the corresponding things here, all the corresponding things here. And well, that's the easy way to actually build frequency tables. Only difference being here, I have to change the whole formula if you want to change something. Here, I can do this part by part. Okay, and what about the most frequent value? Well, if I take a look here, I see the most frequent value, that's the two. If, however, I'm not interested in a whole frequency value, but only in the most frequent value, so basically I'm only interested in the mode or modal value of this data set, that's what I'm going to calculate. So here I can just go with the mode. And then, as you see here, I have two possibilities for this. Here in the single returns the most frequent occurring or repetitive value in an array of or range of data. If I go with the other one, returns a vertical arrow of the most frequently occurring or repetitive values in an so if I go with the first version with the single, I only get one value as a result. If I go with mult, I get all the ones which are the most frequent. Well, here in this case doesn't actually make any difference. 
So if I go with single, apply this to all of them, I will get two because, well, yeah, two is the most frequent. However, imagine I'm changing this 1.0 into a 3.3, then I have two values which are the most frequent. Still, the single one only repeats one value, gives me only one value, even if I try to do it like a matrix formula. So the single version, single version only gives me one value. The first one he finds, the first most frequent one. If I'm interested in both of them, can go with mode mult, can do the same thing here, press OK. On first glance, this looks the same. If I use this as a matrix formula, I get here 2 and 3.3, the two most frequent ones. If I were to extend this then further to 3, he will tell me, ah, not available, so I don't have any additional values for you. So there's only those two. And that's actually the difference between those two. The mode single returns the first most frequent one. The mult returns all if there is more than one with the same frequency. And well, that's all I wanted to talk about in this unit. So I introduced how to build frequencies, frequency tables, and I introduced how we can calculate modal values. And with this, the first of the measures of central tendency in statistics, which incidentally is based on frequency tables. Well, as I said, that's all there is. So if you want to see more on Excel, feel free to visit the rest of the course or have a look at the corresponding playlist. I say goodbye and see you next time.